What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and no, this is not a troll. This is not fake news. This is real. Reset is back. So we have got the player reset. You can reset your players and try out different builds. Why this is important is if you've been training and playing this game for a long time, training different cards, testing them out, you can make a lot of mistakes with your cards once you're learning the mechanics of the game. Obviously as well, the gameplay changes week to week with little things, like sometimes, sometimes things are tweaked and sometimes things change pretty much, not overnight, but depends. Like the events, the gameplay can be super sticky. So it can be hard to get a perfect build for where you want it to go. But most importantly, I just feel like that the balance between how much it costs to, to reset a player versus when it's free is just, it's just crazy. So for example, we're going to be looking at Platini today. It's just a short video. And I'm going to show you why it's important to have this free reset or even an affordable reset. We don't want it for free. Uh, obviously, look, we understand it's a mechanic in the game. But why I'm going to show you that it's important is when you're creating or training a card, right? We're going to take a look at Platini here. If we do not have the free reset, it's going to cost us 600,000 GP. Now, I've got 2 million GP. You can't see there with my face cam, but let me just hide that a second. I've got 2 million GP. If we don't have the free reset, that's going to cost me 600,000. Now, this is going to be ongoing until the 1st of August. That's when I think we'll start to get news about eFootball 2025 and the buildup will start. But when it's free, you can just go ahead and reset your player. So why this is important, in my opinion, I definitely think that it's probably the most important thing until they get the game at a solid level for eFootball 2025. eFootball 2024 is in the rearview mirror now, as far as I'm concerned. It's all about the next two months and launch week for eFootball 25 is going to need to bang. A lot of people like testing out different builds. So for example, if I'm playing with Platini and I'm playing him as an attacking midfielder, he can also play as an SS. There's a very different build that you need to do for an SS compared to an attacking midfielder. Now he's down as a creative playmaker, right? I wouldn't recommend playing him as a CMF, even though he can't really play there, but you can give him the trainer. You can actually turn him in with the position trainer. We'll get into that in a different video. If you want to turn him into a CMF, you need to perform that training session there and you need to get a CMF or also you can tack on a different play uh, formation there as well or a different play style there as well or a different formation with the skills and all that, okay? But for this card here, it's very important that when you're training cards in a different way, that you're able to actually train them specifically to where you want to play them. So for example, if I'm training and playing with Platini as an attacking midfielder, he's going to be 91 overall. He's also going to be 91 overall as an SS, but playing him in these two positions are going to be very different. No different than if I'm using Griezmann, who's a whole player. So for Platini in an attacking midfielder build, I might want to train him up and say, right, I'm actually going to play with this uh, Platini with like, you know, 90 finishing or 90 passing, okay? So we're going to pop a couple onto that. We're going to get the 90 low pass. Now, I wouldn't recommend training your low pass that high because the passing is kind of busted as it is. But we're just going to kind of train him up fairly easy um, as kind of an attacking midfielder, like an all-rounder kind of attacking midfielder and not pay too much attention to anything else. We don't need to put anything on there. Shooting and finishing and all that, we can pop a few onto that. We can get it to 85. We can even get the passing a little bit higher if we need it to go. But I'm committed to this build now. 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 96 balance, uh, 90 ball control, 92 ball control, 93 dribbling and 92 tight possession, 90 low pass and 87 finishing, right? But I can just decide to myself, right, I actually want to give him a few more finishing here to be able to bring that up to like 90, 91 because he's going to be an attacking midfielder or I want to train up his, his uh, passing a little bit higher as well and try out this build. Now, this is probably not as important when you've got a card like Platini or any of the big boys that can be trained up super, super high, super high, but... If you're training Platini in this position and then you decide to switch him to an SS or you've got a sub tactic and you want to start him here and move him in SS and you want to say, well, listen, what would 95 finishing Platini do or what would a 100 dribbling uh, Platini do where I don't need to focus too much? It's going to cost you 600,000 GP if you want to just test out that different build. So imagine, right, a mechanic in the game at this stage when the game is nearly, you know, transitioning to eFootball 2025. Without the free reset, which was only live today, which is uh, the 18th of July, to look at the date there, because my head's all over the place. Thursday, they added this for two weeks. You would have to spend 600,000 GP just to be able to see, right, well, how would a 95 um, finishing build do where my dribbling is max? You know, and I still have a bit of dexterity there, but I want to get the dexterity up as high as I can possibly go. I'm going to be playing him as kind of a shoot first player. Right, so his finishing is going to be 97, his dribbling is going to be 100, his balance is going to be 94. This isn't obviously the best build that you could go with him, he's only down as an SS. But 
Where this becomes an issue, I think, is when you have players that you're going to kind of swap around, right? So, for example, with Saliba, we have retrained Saliba to have 85, 86 speed. Before this, his build was at 90 speed. But they've made slight modifications to the speed with the center back build up players that you don't need 90 speed. So, for example, if I go in and I look at any of my older build up CBs, such as here, if I go into this and I just sort this by build up CBs, and I have any of these CBs that are going to be 90 overall speed or anything like that, any of these are going to do the job for me, right? If I bring in this Saliba, this Saliba's at 88 speed, right? I can now reset this card because of where the gameplay is at, and it's going to cost me zero because the player reset is on, but I can just throw the rest in once I have his dexterity up where I want it to be, and once I have his speed up where I want it to be. So straight away without putting anything in, his speed is going to be 85, which means that I can turn this Saliba into a slightly different player if I want to, right? Now obviously we can continue to train him up, or we can pump a lot into his aerial strength there, but that's going to be a slightly different build. You're going to have 75 acceleration, 85 speed, and then all 90s in his defense with 89 physical contact. We can get that to 90 if we want to. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the free reset. Would you guys like it to stay free? Would you like to be cheaper? I don't think it needs to be free. I just think that it should be a max player. They should bring in some sort of level tokens that you're able to reset a player for free with a token and you get a token every 10 spaces in the match pass or you get them for, you know, winning five games in division five or four or three all the way up your divisions. Just make us grind. Make it something to grind that you have a free player reset and then you can reset everything. You can reset his skills and get the skills back and it would just add a little bit of grinding into it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the free reset. Would you like it to stay? Or are you happy with paying the GP? I don't think anyone is really happy with paying the GP. But would you be happy with paying 100,000 GP to reset a player instead of 600? Or would you like a, a token to reset? Let me know. Try to get a bit of feedback. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.